Next, we're going to talk about the relationship between human and environment. The relationship between human and environment contains three parts. First, human and environment are in the unity of the material. Second, human adapts to environment. And we're also going to talk about interaction between human and environment. This figure shows the unity between human and environment. Each dot represents an element. The solid line indicates the element concentration in the crust. And the dashed line indicates the element concentration in human blood. So what you see here is an almost perfect correlation in the, con in the element concentration between human blood and the element concentration in the crust. And human also adapts to environment. This figure shows skin pigmentation and geographical distribution of the world's population from fair, light brown, medium brown, dark brown to very dark. Because of the diversity of the environment, interaction between human and environment can be very complicated. Uh, this means the quality of the environment can affect human health, and vice versa. Human activities can also affect the quality of the environment. Next, we are going to talk about environmental pollution and its effects on human health. This slide is a disaster. The neighborhood is in complete disarray. It's full of garbage. And you can see that this river is polluted and full of garbage. Everybody wants to live like this or this. Nobody wants to live like this, right? So it is very important that we protect our environment. These are the topics that we'll cover on the effects of environmental pollution on human health. First, we'll talk about environmental pollution and public nuisance. What is environmental pollution? Environmental pollution is an introduction of contaminants into a natural environment that causes instability, disorder, harm, or discomfort to the ecosystem. And what is the definition of public nuisance? A public nuisance is a class of common law offense in which the injury, loss, or damage is suffered by the local community as a whole rather than by individual victims. Environmental pollution can cause all kinds of human discomfort, such as headache, fatigue, cardiovascular illness, cancer risk, and nausea. Examples of the environmental pollution include uh, photochemical smog in London, England, and Minamata disease and Itaitai Ita disease in Japan. Itai Itai disease is caused by camion pollution. Itai means pan in Japanese. So a quarry pumped uh, polluted water directly to nearby rivers and cadmium accumulated in the river and people drink the water day by day. So what happens is that these people developed serious bone deformation. Their bone is seriously deformed and their body length is uh, shortened and the bone is very crisp. Other cases of environmental pollution include ozone destruction, greenhouse effects, acid rain, air pollution, and freshwater pollution, etc. Next, we're going to talk about environmental pollutants. Sources of environmental pollution can come from natural sources or man-made sources. Natural sources include uh, volcanic eruption and uh, forest fire. Man-made pollution includes production pollution, such as industrial production, fertilizers, and pesticides. Or it can come from everyday lives, such as sewer, garbage, and stuff like that, and also other pollutions. Once you have these environmental pollutants, they can move around. For example, pollutants moving around through biological concentration is called biomagnification. And the pollutants can also transform into another chemical. For example, chemical pollutants in the environment can change into another substance. And the environment can purify itself to a certain degree. 
This way, the pollutants become less harmful. Now that we mentioned about environmental cell purification, there are three kinds of uh, cell purification. The first one is physical purification, and the second one is chemical purification, and the third one is biological purification. A physical purification includes something that's done to the physical properties, such as dilution, mixing, sedimentation, diffusion, volatilization, condensation. And chemical purification means the purification will change its chemical properties, such as oxidation, reduction, hydrolysis, and absorption. And biological purification includes uh, absorption, decomposition, degradation, and transformation. The effects of its environmental pollution on health are of course always bad. Pollution is the world's largest environmental threat to health. It can cause acute effect. This is the London smog in 1952. A large amount of pollutant entered the environment in a short period of time, causing acute poisoning, harmful effects, and death to the exposed crowd. It can also cause chronic effect, which means adverse effect on human body with symptoms that develop slowly due to long and continuous exposure to pollutants at low concentrations. So the picture on the left shows the mercury causes Minamata disease after 20 years of exposure. And the picture on the right shows the Itai Itai disease caused by cadmium. Damage of environmental pollution on health can also cause special harm, like carcinogenic effects, teratogenic effects, mutagenicity, and toxic effects of immunity. These are some examples on the effects of environmental pollution on health. A lot of diseases can be caused by environmental pollution. The diseases caused by pollution include Minamata disease, Itai Itai disease that we just talked about, and occupational diseases include benzene poisoning and silicosis. And infectious diseases include typhoid, cholera, and dysentery. And food poisoning can also cause diseases. Public nuisance disease is a regional disease caused by severe environmental pollution, in which the whole community suffers from injury, loss, or damage. Public nuisance diseases are usually caused by public nuisance incidents, such as photochemical smog and Chernobyl explosion. The Chernobyl explosion in 1986 caused a large number of radioactive material leakage into the air and on the ground. The Chernobyl explosion caused the leakage of over 8 tons of radioactive materials, and more than 60,000 square kilometers of soil were directly polluted, and 3 million people were infected, and 66,000 people died from cancer. And the incidence, since this is radioactive, has also increased mutations in both humans and other animals. Occupational diseases such as benzene poisoning can cause leukemia, and fine silica dust can cause silicosis. And biological pollutants can cause infectious diseases such as typhoid, cholera, and dysentery. Last, we're going to talk about homesis effect. A homesis basically describes the dual effects of many environmental toxicants on the health. What this means is that when you have a little of something, it is good for you. But when you have too much, it is bad for you. So as many as 5,000 kinds of poison have been found to have a dual nature, such as UV light, alcohol, arsenic, and other stuff. This is easy to imagine. If you expose yourself to the sun for just a little bit, it is good for you, good for your bone, good for your health. But if you expose yourself too much to the sun, it can cause skin cancer, right? So this is an important concept for Mises effect. Basically, let's say for today, We'll be talking about atmosphere and air pollution in the next lecture.